I've got a cute buddy hanging out with me right beside me. Oh, appears I'm blurry again. I was ready to go. Let's fix that. Hi, 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 hi. Hey, buddy, you want to come say hi? Come on. Buddy, buddy. Oh, there's buddy. Oh, oh you grown up, mummy. Aren't you the cutest, Mr. Click, 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 click? You can stay with mommy, buddy. Oh, hi. Hi, you want to say hi to the camera? Look at that cute little pink tongue. Hi. You are the goodest boy. Oh, he's half in my lap. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, you! Gr I go in for a hug. You growl at mommy. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's not get too growly. Alrighty. So, buddy and mommy are crafting tonight. <laughs> so I've got this piece of leftover envelope, and I've got a piece of white. So we're gonna be doing some water coloring when buddy lets me, cause he's being a really cutie, hey, eh, big boy. Alright, so I need some papers. And I'm essentially doing kind of similar to last night's with the dyes. But I need to get some papers figured out. So, at least this piece will do the leaf twice. And I need a piece for the flower. Because that is not going to do the flower. Okay. I'm just looking at what other scraps and stuffs I have here. Yeah, that's not going to be the leaf. Alright, so we'll do that piece. Da, 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 da. So I need a piece of white paper. Uh, yeah, now I'm just looking at what's on the table. <laughs> so welcome to craft time. Craft time is just a nice little informal, do some crafting, chill. Also need a measurement of what's this piece. So roughly two and a quarter by three and three quarter or no th uh, no two and a quarter by t two and three quarter there we go now i know what piece of paper i need so i'll do similar to the other one once i get organized here i'm just grabbing some watercolor paper so that'll that'll do so i said two and a quarter by three and three quarter well good enough that will do. So I'm going to put that other piece away. And then continue on the crafting quest. So we're going to need some of the inspired colors from the kit. So I'm going to use the Knight of Navy again. And I'm going to pair it with a pink. So, Knight of Navy. And then definitely need some pinky pink. I got some choices. I'm gonna go with Flirty Flamingo. Might be a little bit of an obscure color combo, but we'll work with it. And here we go. I might, you know, change direction at some point, but we'll see. Alright, so first things first. Just get some blue on here. Like, I probably should have measured how much I need. <laughs> that would be ideal. So, boom. Boom. So to like there, roughly. So at least I know how much blue paper I need. Another good way of doing this is just using cardstock, but sometimes that watercolory look looks good. And I'm gonna bring in some of this pink. Kind of like an undertone to it. So 
So Flirty Flamingo is not part of the color family here for the Time for Cake craft, but it's still pink. And if time permits, we are going to do some die cuts. Alright, there we go. We got a mess of two colors. So then take the water painter here. I'm just going to off the side, make sure it's nice and moist. And then just wet that up. Nothing fancy. It's okay if it looks a little scattered because I like that when I did the other version. So there we go. So that part is good for now. So I'm just going to clean that water painter. Get some of the blue knocked out of it. There we go. So then next up is we're going to do a bit of a shift. I'm going to die cut now this piece because it'll make because I don't because I have to figure out the shape and the color for that flower. So we'll do that now. I'll just keep the paper on the table because this is a quick die cut. And we're probably not going to finish this card tonight. I don't really know. We'll see. We'll see in a short. But as you can kind of see at the bottom of the screen, just getting that piece into the die cut machine. And that's where this piece is going to have to wait till it is nice and dry. So definitely not tonight, I think. But we will have to plan something pretty awesome for tomorrow. Tomorrow we might do a scrappy, which I think will be a lot of fun. Hey, we love my scrappy cards. So there we go. That is die cut out. So now I can color it. So let's do that. Let's give that some color. So just like the other one, kind of figure out where everything goes here. Get a nice layer of blue. Yeah, definitely looking forward to do a scrappy card because they are my favorite. Alright, so then I'm going to work in that pink. Just it might give it an interesting color to it. It might, it might not. Good. And then while we're here with the pink, let's already get the pink going here. And it's okay if it's got like a tinge of some of the blue stuck on my pencil. That is perfectly fine.
I got something stuck on the other side, but that's okay. All right, there we go. So that's kind of roughly colored in. So then grab the water painter, which is right here. I'm just going to squirt some water into it. I'll, I'll do the pink first. And then we'll kind of figure out the blue in a moment. Yeah, it's looking pretty cute. And then, even though it's got some pink on there, that's okay. Work on the blue that has a little bit of pink on there. And there we go. That's a nice little watercolor flower. And then just clean my brush. And that can give me a chance to see how this is feeling. This is still kind of damp, but I might give it a few minutes longer. I might be able to die cut with it, but we'll see. So water painter's done. Um, yeah, I might be able to die cut. I'm just seeing. It's not too damp, actually. This paper's holding it pretty good. All right, we'll try. We'll give it a shot. So again, I'm just going to move that way over. Let's try to die cut that leaf out. <laughs> Try to work my hands here. Alright, so that's in. Grab the leaf die. Away we go. Run that through. So there's one. Paper's a little gummy. Because it's still a little damp. But it looks really, really good, that leaf. Now the problem is getting it off there. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on. It is really stuck on that plate. Okay. Well, this might take me a good minute or few to loosen that up. Because probably because the paper's still damp. Okay, there we go. I'm getting a little edge coming up. Come on, come on. There we go. That looks really, that is one of my favorite dyes, especially with the water coloring. Oh my God. All right. So then I want to get all that stuff off. I'm just going to use the edge of a stick. Okay. So then the next leaf, here we go again. Hi, Evelyn. How are you? There we go. So now we're done die cutting, I believe. Again, I said that earlier, and I still was die cutting. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Just to help work that up. Okay, there. We're good for a bit, at least for now, until the next project. <laughs> Alright, so then next up, I need a piece of white scrap in a moment. Because I'm going to use my hole punch again, because I really like the hole punch. But yeah, there we go. And I'll probably just. Eh, probably just chop that put that into my scraps I'm gonna get rid of that it's good to have every little scrap oh I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling good yeah I know this there's someone else that's watching and that's okay they're welcome to watch they're welcome to comment too but I don't know maybe it's a secret admirer 
Okay, so next up, I need a white scrap, which I have. One moment, it's just way down here. Because I have a bin just full of stuff like that. That's the cutoffs. And I've got so many of them. Oh my god. So I want like three and a half inches. There we go. So now I gotta bring in my favorite hole punch of the week. And let's swap up the edge a bit. Let's use the other one. And actually, I need to... Eh, I'll see if I can make this work. Okay, if she's not in, come on. Yeah, because it's not fitting properly. Okay. It will now. Okay, I got one side done. I gotta peel it out. Come on. Now the other side. I'll catch up in a moment. I just want to get that cut. Yeah, just a great way of making a little tag with slightly rounded edges. I love this. Uh, well, I'm glad tomorrow's going to be a good day, I hope, to be able to get stuff um, done around there. That is a good thing. Alright, so then I'm going to use the... I'm going to use a phrase. Um, no, I was going to use a different phrase, but I'm like, no, I'm trying to stick to this kit. I'm going to use congrats again. Or celebrate. Celebrate, that's it. And then, I'm also going to do the back of the card, too. Okay, Knight of Navy Ink is here somewhere. There we go. Celebrate. Celebrate. And then back of the card. So, yeah, I'm, I am going to finish this card tonight. Why not? Let's go for it. It's nice to be able to start something and finish it, eh? So there we go. Love what you do. Stamping up. Clean that. Clean that. Yeah, what's awesome about being a creator with the social medias is being able to look up statistics on who's watching, including IP addresses and all that fun stuff. So... And it tells me so much stats about who's watching, so it's exciting. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get my IT department to do another round of going over the details again. Let me know if there's anything I need to know with the IT side. Alright, so there, that's done. So far, flip over. We're gonna put this on with dimensionals. That pink kind of looks good, doesn't it? It kind of helps. It definitely stands out more so in this version. But what's interesting is... That adding the pink to that blue made the blue darker because again I wasn't paying attention to color theory. <laughs> uh, I was going for a different look, but it still worked out too. I was like, you know, I'm not even gonna look at color theory. I'm just gonna do what I feel like doing. So putting the whole whack of dimensionals on the back of this because this sheet is almost done. I know. This is a nice little pinky one. And again, this is left. This is a piece of the envelope that I cut up because I'm like, I just had to, because it's so cool, and I'm tempted to dive into the scrappies tonight. I might do a little bit before I take my butt upstairs because I love scrappies. That way, I'm not. We're not watching me cut paper for two hours tomorrow night <laughs> because I love my scrappies. So just kind of sort of on there there we go and more or less same type of curve that we just did last night grab some dimensionals onto my phrase And 
in like so. Yeah, that celebrate got pretty blurred out, but that's okay. It's still fun though. All right, I need a glue dot. Where's my glue dots? They're here somewhere. Where's the glue dots? Found them because the paper pumpkin kits come with glue dots. I don't use them often. And for the life of me, I'm trying to grab it out of the package here and it, I'm fighting with it. I don't use them often, but sometimes gotta use them. So already get going here with the glue dots and the dimensionals too. So I put a dim one dimensional in the back of that leaf, the blue leaf, so I can flip over and put that edge on like so. And then next is the big flower. So I'm going to put two dimensionals in the back of it. Then I'm going to grab a new glue dot and go on top of the existing. peel off the caps grab it it that blue looks really really good and then there we go oh that looks pretty and then grab another glue dot to go on top of all that mess so I could put the last leaf on peel the white cap flip the leaf over give it a dimensional I kind of accidentally ripped the leaf but that's okay still looks really really good peel off the white cap and then bring it over and boom that is pretty simple and pretty and then lastly we need some bling like the only stuff I brought into to make this kit go further was white cardstock um, watercolor paper using watercolor pencils adding a little bit of bling and the dies although the dies are meant to be an add-on item which are super super cool so I'm just gonna grab some of these blings I'm just gonna use some I'm gonna go for three and then just grab boom Boom, put one on there, and then, like before, one up there, and boom, there we go. That's another beautiful card done. Now that I have, now that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so then I'm just going to make stuff move around here. I'm going to put my glue dots with the rest of the glue dots, that way they don't go missing on me. And there goes my visual. Oh, I'm back. Let's bring it back. Alrighty. So there we go. We're kind of here. We got a little bit of a camera mess here. So let's reboot. Alright, let's try this again. Da, 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 da. Hi! We're almost back. There we go. We're kind of back. There we go. Yeah. Got a little technical difficulties. All right. So yeah, there's, there's the sample. So that's one of the ones from last night. And this is the one of the ones from tonight. It's like the same card, but just change it up a bit. Really, really cute. All right. Now, because I feel inspired. Yes, I do. We're going to get going on getting these cut up minus the card, of course, because that's the other card. So I have what's left over is scrappies if you know me i love my scrappies so i'm gonna put these in color order that way when i go scrappy tomorrow i have a plan all right so let's get these chopped up and then we'll call it a name now the size i do for the strips are always half inch and really just measure half inch and boom go 
and then just keep repeating the process. And whatever's left over will go into yeah that's that's a piece that's way too small but that's okay but yeah whatever's left over will go into the ultimate scrappy card which I don't haven't really done here too often it's a shaker card so yeah I keep a lot of scraps because my worthy year is resourceful Hi there, there's a doodle under me. So then, yeah, just keep it going. So I've got lots of pieces to cut up here. But yeah, super exciting. So I'll probably get, oops, I cut that too much. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. So I'll probably get a um, couple cards out of the scrappies. We'll see tomorrow when we get going. I figure might as well do some of the prep tonight. And, and and then by using up these scrappies, and hopefully I've used up the majority of this kit, which will be ideal. Yeah, cause the past week or so, since I received this kit, pretty much every night's been working on this type of stuff. And it's fun. It's enjoyable. I get to do what I love. I get to actually complete one of these kits versus... I work on some of it, and it goes into a box, and, you know, I don't get back to it, so. There we go. Alright, so that's that it's pile, so keep going. Keep repeating the process. That was the larger one out of the batch. But yeah, so looking forward to scrappy night tomorrow night. Yay! Scrappy night, scrappy night. Who knows? I might not even get that far <laughs> tomorrow. I might have this already done. Who knows? I, I'm in the mood for scrappy. It's my favorite. I just think it's a great technique to use up bits and scraps. I really do. And what's fun is with this version, I have three different papers types, the colors to work with, which will make scrappy really, really fun. Heck, I might even do a little bit more scrappy. We'll see. I'm in the mood to do scrappy. I gotta do it. Uh, give me a short. We'll get. The, we'll do some scrappy. Well, at least lay out one of them, because I'm really in the mood. <laughs> I can't resist. It's scrappy. And it's okay if it's not like a perfect half inch. It'll work. And then that last bit, um, yeah, I'll try to see if there's any salvageable there. I'll probably check with the remaining ones. Not a bad idea. Because sometimes there is a little bit I can use off of those. Because I am all about scrappy.
Yep, yeah, I can get a little more out of those. <laughs> I'm kind of crazy for my scrappies. That one, though, nope. Because one of these I definitely goofed earlier. But that's okay. Oh, I got a little bit out of that one. Then the last one from the previous cut. Yeah, I can get a little bit out of that one. Alright, so then the remaining is the pink. more off of that one then a couple more pieces but yeah sometimes it's just the setup it's the cutting it's the preparing that's what takes the longest in this art form and it's like hey once you have it you know what you're doing but it's just getting there so but it's a fun journey at least it is for me. Alright, got that. Just getting some of these thrown away. Alright, the last piece of paper to cut. I do wonder how many scrappies am I going to get out of this batch. I don't know yet. And if there's only a couple pieces left over that can't make a form of a scrappy card, I actually will put them um, for another scrappy with mixed materials. So it's all about being resourceful. Oh, that didn't cut very well. That's okay. I'm just going to gently tear. Because I must have lifted up or something or I didn't have it fully lined up properly, but that's okay. There we go. All right, so that's done For a moment actually we still need this because we're gonna we're gonna do a scrappy. We're doing a scrappy tonight All right, I need a card base. If I need one of these, if I need to cut it down to uh, Give me I need a moment What's my size? So three and a half. So I gotta come down three quarter inch. So I need four and three quarter by three and a half. And then while I'm here, we're gonna cut a second one of the same thing. That way I'm prepared for two scrappies. Because the key thing is whatever the side that's taking the pieces has to be e in an even inch or half inch type of size. So then bring in a pair of scissors, super useful. Bring in your glue or adhesive or tape, whatever you're using. So then I'm going to put the strips the long way. So then on the opposite way, put a whole bunch of adhesive on the ends, the center. And feel free to add more as needed. And then even through the middles, 
Just the whole whack of adhesive is still required to do this. And then take one of these, take a pair of scissors, cut the edge of the white off, and then lay on. And then just keep doing it over and over and over. Also helps if you separate your colors too. So we'll just grab this one for giggles. So then lay that down. And then if I need a little bit more glue or adhesive or whatever. There we go. So now we gotta get the other color. Because I touched that one. We'll grab that one. I'll just snip there. Because I want like a pretty even section here to look at. Alright, and then we're back to the pink. And just keep going like that. So, fun, fun. And then next is that medium color. The moody mauve color. And then let's get a good piece of that floral. Oh, I gotta give that a little bit of a trim. Actually, no, we're not going to use that piece because it's just a little hair too short because it makes it harder to muck with later. So we'll use this one. All right. So then here's something interesting. Flip over and cut some of the tails off because then we can reuse some of the tails that's poking out. So, for example, that pink can be reused. Like so. So then get a little more adhesive in there. Just not let me. <laughs> and grab some of that moody mauve color. And then grab this color. Okay, and then the pink again. So grab a pink. And it's meant to look kind of half random. It's meant to look meh, because I like it. Usually it works if you have more colors, uh, because I'm working with three of unique sizes it kind of makes it a little yucky looking but still really cool so next is the pink again and the moody mauve and then the floral I need a little more glue there. And then we'll need the pink one last time. Yeah, I love it personally. Actually, that piece is a little too short because it does taper out. So I want to finish that slot. I don't want to add another color. There we go. So then, at this point, pieces I don't want over there, pieces I do want over here. So then, trim the tails. Alright, so then, match up where they go. And then, because I got a little bit of that strip at the top, I'm just going to trim. And I'm going to do another one. 
Because what's fun about this is no two come out the same. But that's more or less what we're doing. It helps if you have some really uneven pieces, but I'm just working with whatever is on the table. This is my favorite technique. So then, we'll start with the pink again. Add a little bit more glue or tape or whatever. Okay, so then I'm gonna use a teeny tiny of that just to use some up. Get some more adhesive. So sometimes when you get some really small pieces, it makes it fun. Okay, I think my tape runner's almost out. Eh. Come on, there we go. This one's starting to get sticky. All right, I see a floral in here, so let's see what you are. Let's see if we have enough off of this one. We don't, so I'm gonna grab a different floral. To finish that section. Sometimes you gotta pick and choose the right pieces to be able to complete. So then I'll grab this one, this pink floral. And then now I need the moody mauve. And that should finish the strip for sure. Sweet. So then now I can bring in the dark floral. There we go. So then, I need a new piece of pink. And then I'm gonna use that little bit of Moody Move that's still sticking on there. Cause I'm weird that way. <laughs> All right, so then let's put these back where they go. Actually, get a little more adhesive on there for the small sections. They need them. And then this one, the floral. It's like a puzzle. I mean, I, I, I like it, but maybe I'm just weird that way. And, and, and I don't have to, I don't worry too much about directional because who cares? It's meant to be quirky. Just trying to chop as much of the white stuff off. And I just keep going until I literally run out of supplies. But usually when I'm getting pretty low, I do check the seeds. Like, okay, well, how many do I have? Do I have enough? Am I going to make it? Hence where I try to use every little bit possible. Even if it's a little tiny piece like that. Alright, Moody Move again. And a little bit of floral, blue floral. And then back to the pink. One of them, not two of them. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and the pink will do. There we go. Okay. So that's another one done. But see the difference? This one's got a little more fun stuff to it. So then chop. And you know what? I'm in the groove. I'm going to keep going. Let's see how many more possible card bases we can get out of this batch. So then again, trim that top as needed. Sometimes the pieces, because they're so small, it just ends up being a little smaller, but it helps to have a general good sizing. All right, so that's two. Let's move on to three and four, maybe. So again, just grab some more white card stock. And I'm reaching for it. All right, so then that was um, four and three quarter. by three and a half and again three and a half and then that other cardstock piece I cut a moment ago I'm going to bring that back and line it up better that way if I go grab it for something I'm not confused on the size okay so let's keep her going loving this I'm probably really gonna run out the seal, but that's okay. So then, yeah, same setup. Let's see how this one's gonna turn out tonight. Floral. And just keep going. Usually I super stack the color pieces. But tonight I'm a little more fluid. Oh, I didn't really have to snip that. <laughs> There we go. Another one done. We're getting some super links on this tonight. That's a good one. Actually, we already have that one in play. I can use that little tiny pink for the heck of it. Yeah, I think I'm out of adhesive. Just about. So let's give that a little snip. Grab one of these. And one of those. Yep, I need adhesive. I've got my backup. I don't like it, but I'll use it. This is the regular seal. Not my favorite, but 
I keep it for when I need it. Just like now. So we have that. And then pink. Pink. Pretty and pink. Maybe. But you can see like how time consuming this task so can be. Oh wait. Oh I do have a piece in play. That's a good one. Then the burgundy color. I kind of want to finish it, so let's grab a lengthier one. That section. It just looks better. Woo! Got one other one done. Alright, I'm going for one more. Crazy as it sounds. I'm just keeping a couple little itty bitties because I might need them. If I get into a really tight bind. So we'll recap at the end the scrappies. Alright, so again. Just made sure the glue goes right through. Yeah, this one is not my preference. Alright, so pink. And then the moody mauve. Then the Floral. Then cut that little bit of pink off. And then the moody mauve again. And then the nice other floral. The way I'm seeing this, we have enough for another card. Awesome. Okay, so then the pink. Alright, get a little bit of glue in there, or tape, or whatever. No, that didn't work. There we go, so that was the pink. And bring in some Moody Mauve. I'll go for a bigger piece. Floral. I got one in play. Fern, I got two in play. Huh? 
just to show I'm out of it. Oopsie daisy. It's like OCD part of me, right? Okay, now pink. Let's see what this pink is like. Is it big enough? Nope. So let's get one that's big enough. It'll just make stuffs easier. And then move, move. Oh yeah, that's my alarm to kick my butt to go to bed very soon. Okay, that one, and then the dark floral. Are you guys bored yet? I could do this for hours, seriously. I really, really could do this for hours. And a moody mauve, which is almost big enough, but not. So let's grab a bigger. There we go. Another one done. Trim the tails. Keep what's keep what I can keep. One of these is half decent. All right, so then <laughs> that's another one done. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep going. Screw it, everyone. I'm go I'm I'm going. This has been fun. Oh no! I chopped one of those, but that's okay. Shoot. Oops, I pulled a boo-boo. I cut it too much. There, I snipped it some more. Bit of a muck up, but that's okay. Okay, now for another paper trimmer. I swear I love this technique, weeds. So I, I got enough for another. I can see that. I just don't know if I have enough for two more. So I'll just cut one for the moment. Let's give her. All right, there we go. We're going for pink. That piece of moody mauve will do. Yes, yes, yes. And then let's get a little darky. And then pink. Okay, and we got now we can get moody mauve. And then the dark pretty stuff. Then we get a good piece in there. Now we need that pink. Then the moody mauve. I want a little one. Now I want that blue. Let's hope it's enough. It is, yes just enough so then the pink which I don't think I have one in play then moody mauve and 
then the pretty. And then the pink. Check the length. I gotta cut some more. And then the moody mauve. Uh, I'm just looking at. Sometimes it helps to see the leftover pieces to get a feel for which one I want to use. And then the big floral. Except we are going to run out of that side. Well, that's fine. So I can bring a little bit of pink. So I think we have enough to do one more. I think so. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So kind of know your rows. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we, we can definitely do another one. <laughs> I can see it. Now, if one after that, I don't know. We'll have to really see. All right, paper trimmer. So this is a jumbo edition of, I'm doing my thing. Okay, so that was three and a half by four and three quarter. Here we go. It's gonna be awesome. So here we go, last one. So we are definitely going to run out of the pink. And that is a okay. We're going to use one of these. And then we're going to grab a good strip of the big floral blue. Reveal that one so I know what <laughs> paper it is. <laughs> Might as well cut for a moment so I can assess what's here so then next is the pink again get a good strip of pink on there and I'm going to use one of these little guys I'm going to use one of these other little guys for the hell of it. Make it super unique. Okay, and then pretty in pink. The last official pink one.
Okay, and then Mooney move. And I'm gonna grab that little one. Kind of got some glue on there, tape glue, whatever. Give this a quick trim. Okay, and then Moody Mauve again. Okay, and then the pretty floral oh I did have a piece of pink oh shoot can we fix see I'm OCD that way <laughs> Okay, now I can put the pink down. Now that Moody Move. And then that bluish. Okay. Now, Moody Move. Okay. I got, I got stuff sticking everywhere. <laughs> Alright, so that oh 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 my god I still got a little bit of the pink that pink will not leave peel the peel that booty off get that pink in there <laughs> I am absolutely I love this stuff this seriously tickles my fancy Okay, now we can get Moody Move. There we go. That looks better. And then this stuff. And then Moody Move again. Hi, 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 oh hi, which one's you, your, your buddy, hi buddy bum, so moody move, then I'm now being super duper selective on purpose to try to use up some of this stuff. And then pink. And there we go. And I'll show you what's left over once I seat that properly. Good one, kitty. Show you what's left over. Seriously. So other than little confetti over there, but that was to be known, I have these left over and that's it so let me finish trimming this one so we have one two three four five six Six scrappies to come out of that. Six. So how are we doing with this kit? That's a great question. Let, let's get all the cards. 
<laughs> I'm having way too much fun tonight. Okay, I'm getting all the cards. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. All right. Okay, you guys ready for the the card histories? Okay, how many cards you get out of this kit? One. I'm frozen apparently. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The original nine. Okay. And then ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, Wait. 24, 25, whatever, somewhere around there, yeah, and then all I'm doing is adding basic materials, anyway, I'm going.